I'm Derek West. I'm Jason Scherer, driver of the 76 new tire buggy in the Ultra 4 Series. Hi, my name is Mel Wade. I drive the Ultra 4 uh, 4451. It's the Unlimited JK. Driving the Ultra 4 class. Hi, I'm Nick Nelson, driver of the number 4404 Nano Tire Ultra 4 buggy. The best way to explain King & Hammer to an outsider basically is the toughest race on the planet. It's got big, rough desert. As long as you get it there without watching it up, you're, you're good to go. It's brutal. It's the toughest single day of racing that I've ever had in my life. It's uh, harder on the person in the car and more challenging mentally than the Baja 1000. These vehicles have to be able to withstand going 100, 110, 120 miles an hour to be able to crawl at a quarter mile an hour over boulders 10 feet tall. The rocks is kind of where the, the race can be lost. There's a million chances to make a mistake and you know, there's a very small chance of getting through there clean you know, all day long. You know, an outsider may not like it. You know, if you're not into that, you know, you might think it's dirty, no fun, but for me, it's, it's great. And all the people that show up love it. That's why it keeps growing. My goal this year is to win King of Hammers. <laughs> That's why we go to these races, you know. We don't go there uh, to finish second. We go there to win. My goal for the race this year at King of the Hammers is just to, to go for it, not to mess around. Last year we stopped over a problem that we spent a bunch of time trying to fix. Didn't end up fixing it, it really wasn't crucial. We had some mishaps last year. We want to get past those and finish the race. Uh, if we can finish in our production based vehicle with off the shelf parts, that's a goal, that's a win. Looking into the future and seeing what you want to do, you want to win the King of the Hammers. You know you got to go win it at least three times, maybe even more to satisfy that urge to be the best. Uh, my strategy is about the same as it was last year for King of the Hammers. Uh, like I said, we set out last year to do what we planned to do. So this year we're just gonna go out and do the same thing. You know, we're not gonna try to kill the car in qualifying, but we'll make sure that we're up in front, and we're gonna get a good start, and then we're gonna go out and run our race and do our pace, you know, not worry about what anybody else is doing. Yeah, we have a different strategy this year. We have made some changes to the vehicle. Our pit strategy is a lot better. We got different guys in the pits. We're looking for the, the big finish in the, in the unlimited class and then a win this year. I do have a different strategy for this year. Just from everything that we've learned in the past, we do things a little differently. We've changed some of our equipment up a little bit. I mean, we're always tweaking and changing based off of our experiences in the past. You know, our strategy was something that we said early on. I think we were one of the first teams that went down and made our absolute first priority pre-running. We learned the race course inside out and backwards. The week of King of the Hammers isn't the week to be working on your car or finishing last minute details because trust me your shop floor is a lot better to lay on and work on the car than it is to work in the middle of the desert and night and sand and wind.